Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to cover how you can pay out annual leave that has accrued in zero payroll to an employee who leaves your business. In this tutorial, I use the Australian version of Zero's demo company. So let's jump into Zero now and see how it's done. So just using a freshly reset version of the Australian demo company here, what we'll do is we'll go into payroll and pay employees. And we have a draft pay run here, which we'll use. We'll just go into that. And what we'll do is we'll terminate the employment of LeBron James here. So let's just click into his pay template for this pay run. Okay, and if we have a look over the pay template, we can just see that it's for a normal fortnight's work there with 76 hours and everything else in there is just as normal. There's no actual um, leave payout at the moment. And then down the bottom here, you can also see there's a little button called set as final pay, which we'll use soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to terminate LeBron James's employment. We're going to pay out his annual leave and then we'll see it flow through to this pay template. But before we do that, we need to check a few things. And the first thing we need to check is his leave. So if we just duplicate this screen and we go into payroll and leave, we need to see if LeBron has any leave requests in the system because if he does, we can't actually process his payout. And we can see here he's got one to review and he's got one that's upcoming as well. So we can just go in and just get rid of those ones. So you just come over here and you just reject it. And we'll reject the other one too. Okay, so now LeBron doesn't have any leave in there. So we can go ahead and process his termination pay. So if we just duplicate the screen again, and we go to payroll and employees and into LeBron. So to set it up properly, we need to go into his leave tab. And you can see here, he's got 111.66 hours of annual leave accrued. So that's what's going to be paid out plus any leave that he gets from the pay run that we're actually about to run. So it's going to be a bit higher than that. But while you're here, you need to actually click on this balance and you need to check whether his leave is actually paid out on termination. And you can see here, it's actually selected to be not paid out. So you need to change that to paid out and then click on save. And that will make sure that that annual leave balance actually gets paid out. All right, so next up, we can go to the employment tab and here we can actually set a termination date, which is up here in the options. So let's just have a look over here. This pay run that I've got ends on the 14th of October. So what I'll do is I'll just say that he actually terminated his employment during that week rather than at the end. And I'll just show you something uh, to do with that. So if we come back over here, set the termination date, and let's just say it's the 11th and you need to pick a reason as well. So we can just say um, for this one, it's just a uh, voluntary cessation. So just a normal um, person just leaving the business of their own accord, nothing tricky going on there. So we'll just click on save. Okay, so now that's got the termination date there. I'll just click on save again, just to make sure everything's in and it is. All right, so let's head back over to the pay run and we'll just come back into LeBron's pay template here. So now we can scroll down and we can hit set as final pay. Okay, so it's brought through the 14th of October as the termination date, which is not right. We actually chose the 11th. So just bear in mind that you may have to choose that again. And the reason for the termination voluntary cessation. So I know we filled that out before, but you've got to fill it out again here. And then just down here, you've just got to make sure you select the right things to make sure his actual pay is calculated the right way. So for this one, I've got select last full pay period. So we're going to use that as the basis and an example of a normal full pay period. I'll just go back here to the one before 
the fortnight before and select that one and then I'll click on save okay so you can see up the top now we've got this message saying this is a final pay once the pay run is posted the termination date will be set to 11th of October and then further down here you can see we've got the annual leave final pay there's 117.49 hours and what that is is the 111 hours that we saw before that he had he had accrued plus this 5.8 hours down here which is the annual leave there for the fortnight so a couple of other things um, one of them is this has still got a full fortnight's pay in here a full 76 hours even though in this final pay period we did take off a couple of days so if you need to just make sure you go and adjust that down to the correct amount of hours or the correct amount of days whatever you need to do I'm just going to leave it for now just for the purposes of this exercise and the other thing is just as a side note just make sure that the tax is calculating correctly you may have to do um, some sort of tax adjustment if it's not uh, calculating correctly in the system but this isn't a tax lesson this is a zero um, lesson so I won't go ahead and check that but that's just something for you to keep in mind Okay, so everything is in place. So now we can just click on save. And we'll go back to the pay run. Okay, and we'll post it. And we'll go back to the pay run screen. Okay, so we can see now it's in the history. So that's been posted. And now if we go over to LeBron and let's go to the leave screen you can see there that he's got no annual leave accrual anymore it's all been paid out in that pay run okay so that's how you pay out annual leave in zero for an employee who ceases employment okay that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our zero courses so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video